Hello ladies and gentlemen, it's Mike here at Game From Scratch and today we're going to be checking out Rider Flow. Now this is a new tool released by JetBrains, the people behind IDEs such as, well, Rider, also WebStorm, Idea, Sea Lion, uh, you name it. If there's a programming language, they make a cross-platform IDE for it. Rider Flow isn't really an IDE, it's, it's more of a tool for organizing the Unity editor. A very unique experience and it is also, again, quite free. So if you use Unity, you should definitely check it out. Out. So here we're going to go ahead and see it in action. Now this adds a number of tools to the Unity game engine. You can grab it anytime you want. Basically go into um, the asset store and purchase it. It is completely free. And then once it is there, you can get it. Uh, I don't know why their search doesn't do the end, but come in here, search for Rider Flow. Now, interestingly enough, it's actually pretty big. 376 megabytes. And I do not know what that space is used for. But you're going to find this is a very cool tool. Now, there's a lot going on here. First off, we have this little simple toolbar right here. Uh, various different tools in here. One you can do is a search. You can also do this for the hotkey. I think it's Control-Alt-N. Yeah, that's the equivalent. Or you could go ahead and press right here. Now, this is sort of like the Search Anywhere tool that's built into uh, more recent versions of Unity. So you can see, for example, if I wanted to come down here and search for FX... I can find all of the things in my file by file name, by game object, etc. If I just care about game objects, I can do the same search here, and this will search just our hierarchy and give us our results over here. Or you can search by files over here. Obviously, you can do quick actions to open those things up as well. Now, another neat thing with this tool, you can see from the toolbar here, is the ability to do camera favorites. So let's say if I was really interested in this part of my scene over here, I could go ahead and we could create a new camera over here, I'll call this, uh... all right, come on. Very interesting thing one. All right. And then in uh, homage to the cat in the hat, I find over here incredibly interesting as well. I can go ahead and do thing two and create it. So now we have this quick jump thing here. So I can jump between thing two, which I'm currently looking at, thing one, and one that I apparently created a while ago. So it's a way of kind of bookmarking entities in your scene. Uh, you've also got the ability to do it over here. So you can bookmark an object that way. You can also actually go ahead and create a note here. This is a thing you should do something with. And then close your notes off. So now you have you can got the ability to create notes in your scenes. Again, you've got, got the ability to... So I could snap on that guy, and we can go ahead and bookmark it right there. And then come back here, oh, sorry, over here with the bookmarks. And you can jump between the objects that you've booked. So this gives you the ability to actually say, okay, this object in the scene, I want to bookmark it and come back to it later. So it gives you a nice little way of basically uh, visually managing elements in your scene, which again is quite useful. Now, one of the areas I actually find weakest in this example is there's also a code editor. So now I can go ahead and um, grab this guy and say, open in code editor. Now, strangely enough, I don't find a lot of functionality in this code editor. You get markup, you get code highlighting, and you can actually edit your code here. But for example, no code completion that I can see yet. I don't know if this little bit is going to change in time, but again, having the ability to edit code directly inside of the Unity engine is nice and generally requires another uh, plugin to do so. Now, what I generally use, and I think I already have it hooked up, is this guy right here, which is Script Inspector. Uh, I got this in a Humble Bundle or something in the past, and this is one of the first installs I ever do. And what you'll notice the big difference here is I get full code completion, etc. So I don't know if the uh, code editing aspects of this are going to improve in the future, but there is a code editor built in. Good for quick and dirty hacks, but it's not the great refactoring tool that you're used to from them. So I don't know what the ultimate plan is there. Now, another interesting aspect of this is the uh, asset management side of things. So down here in my project, all right, why, what are you doing? What are you doing? All right, we'll give it a second to do its thing. Bump, 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 bump. <sighs> Fine, I'll keep the change. I didn't change any. Okay, stop being stupid. Uh, I'm, I'm not sure what's going on here. Uh, it actually even seems like the... The IDE is causing the underlying problem. I'm not sure what's going on there. Uh, but let's head on back over here. And let's see. We'll find an aspect in the city. So let's go ahead and find a prefab. Fine. Save it. Stop annoying me. Stop recompiling. Okay. So here we go. Prefabs. Let's find, say, a prop in the scene. 
And we want to go ahead and find traffic cones, which by the way, we could have also found using their search tool over here. So here is, actually I'll do fire hydrants. Okay, so fire hydrant right here. Uh, what you can do is right click these guys and you now have uh, new abilities such as show usages in the scene. And here you're seeing up here, we can basically navigate. So it grays out so you see just the one thing here. And if I zoom out enough, we should see all, so there you can see the red highlight there, right there. So it's a very easy way of finding all of the instances of a particular object in a scene. You can also snap between them like so. So definitely a cool tool in that regard. So you get the ability to actually figure out where your assets are in the world. And then we can also do now a right click. So let's say this particular fire hydrant, I didn't want to use it this way. And this is more than just replacing the asset. It should handle all code references to it. So I come in here and let's say, okay, I want to make this fire hydrant into a traffic cone. And then go ahead and do a replace. And now it is a traffic cone. So that is the, uh, the other functionality that's built in here. So you got a number of different uh, neat abilities here. You can ch uh, change objects out. You can find and reference all the objects in the scenes. Once again, control alt N, you can find things. So let's say Hydra hydrant. So we can find objects that way. And I think, no, you can't. So you have to select it here to find it here. And then you can find it here. So show it in the scene or the find usages of it like that, and it will find all of the instances of that guy right there. So if you want to say refactor an object you're using in a scene, or you just want to make tweaks to it, or you just want to find all the locations of it, that is another feature and function of this uh, tool, uh, Rider Flow for Unity. So you're getting quite a bit in this guy. Again, the only thing that I find uh, somewhat disappointing is this aspect, which is again, incredibly ironic that it comes with a code editor, but the code editor is kind of weak. So if you want to have code editing directly inside of Unity, this is a good bare bones version of it. But if you want to replace your IDE and work directly inside of Unity, I would highly in, in, uh, I use uh, Script Inspector instead personally, or another tool like that. So uh, that is the Rider Flow. Uh, if you're interested in learning more about it, it is available at JetBrains website, jetbrains.com forward slash Rider Flow. Uh, the documentation is available here showcasing uh, the various different features that are in it. We saw the search everywhere functionality. Uh, you can find usages. We saw this functionality in the demo as well. You can manage game objects in the hierarchy view over here. You got to, I guess I didn't really showcase that one, but this is where you can kind of set notes and coloration of things and so on. Uh, scene management toolbar. That's this guy right there for setting those bookmarks and pre-recorded cameras and so on. You do have the ability to refractor game objects. So Select one or more in a scene, right click and choose replace objects. It will show you the game object chooser pop up from there. It only takes a single click to replace the selected game object with new game objects. All scene references to the original object are also updated throughout code. So that's more than just an object replacer. It should make your code work as well. The smart editor, which again, I find the functionality a little underwhelming at this point in time. And you've got a number of keyboard shortcuts to handle all of the stuff that is here. So this is completely free. If you're interested in checking it out, it's available on the Asset Store. Speaking of the Asset Store, if you want a more complex um, version of like a code editor, I do recommend Skip, uh, Script Inspector 3. I will link this down below. I wish it was on sale right now. There is a sale going on. Unfortunately, it's not. Uh, but it is a well-spent 40 bucks, in my humble opinion. But if you want to try this guy out, basically just come on in here to the asset store, get Rider Flow like this guy right here. Once again, it is completely free. Uh, so just add it to your project, add it in, and you are good to go. Neat little tool from JetBrains, completely free. Every Unity user should probably at least be aware of this one. Let me know what you think. Also, let me know what you think of Project Rider, and do you use an inbuilt script editor? If so, which one do you use in that regard as well? All right, that's it, ladies and gentlemen. Let me know what you think. Comments down below. Talk to you all later. Goodbye.